you went to IIT Bombay for physics. Yeah, yeah. And then physics to AI. What an incredible switch. Why and how? So, as a kid, I was obsessed with physics and that's all I wanted to do. But when I, uh, I got into IIT Bombay, I studied engineering physics uh -huh. and uh, I, got my, I got into grad school in University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign to uh -huh. do computational astrophysics. Uh -huh. But then in my first week here, I was like somehow convinced that AI is just going to like change the world. Uh -huh. And I saw this talk by Ray Kurzweil, it was very convincing, by 2029, AI was going to be better than any scientist out there. Wow. So I told this to my advisors and I said like, why do physics now when I should be doing AI and then getting AI to do the physics for you? And my advisors were like, fine, like, let's try applying AI in physics. So I ended up doing that and then it, like, we can talk more about it, but it ended up being a huge hit and we detected black holes wow. using AI. No one had applied AI to in gravitational astrophysics before. So I was the first person to do it and black holes, these signals that Einstein predicted, you know, like 100 years ago, when black holes collide, we will be hearing gravitational waves like billions of years away. Uh -huh. And the signal is so tiny that I was like, nobody had detected this before. And by applying AI to pick out these tiny signals hidden in all this noise, uh -huh. it worked incredibly well. And that's how like, you know, I ended up getting a job at Google X and like uh, Nvidia paid for the whole PhD. And I met Sergey Brin and uh, uh, Jensen Huang and Stephen Wolf from all, they were like super interested in my thesis. And